Hi there everybody and welcome to another video. On today's video I have this BMW X3. This is a petrol six cylinder and uh, it's kind of uh, misfiring at the moment. Not all the time, but uh, you can hear it. It's firing. Um, occasionally at idle it settles okay and sometimes it gets a little bit worse <clears throat> so looking at um, some of the fold codes here um, it says combustion misfire cylinder number three so since the uh, misfire is quite uh, active at the moment what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna fit a second hand um which i think i have one spare second hand coil pack and see if that sorts out the misfire if that doesn't sort out the misfire then we could be looking at a, a spa plug and if it's not electrical then uh, we'd have to go and check the fuel rail um, or the particular injector for that cylinder so that's what i got at the moment and um I just thought I'd make a video to see, to show you how to remove the uh, the coil pack in this model. Uh, this is an old X3, so we'll have a look at it in a minute. <clears throat> Let's park this property. Right. So you might be able to hear it. Okay, so at least we know it's cylinder number three, so we can um, have a look at that. And it looks like I have a, bub a bulb that I need to change as well. Try and discover which one that is. Okay, so this has a six-cylinder six engine. Uh, I think this is a X3. Actually, it doesn't say. Um, it might be the um, 2.5. Um, as far as I remember and um, so we got this uh, engine here this is actually a 2006 not a 2004 um, so I'm gonna um, remove these Allen keys here and remove this cover and hopefully we can uh, access the coils there okay Let's take this uh, cover out. Uh, these are five mil Allen keys, or well, Allen bolts. And there is another one of those right at the back, which I've already loosened, but I uh, just need to take it out. So that's the one there. I'm just wearing this because uh, the engine is quite hot. So let's take this cap off. Okay, so so we just want to take this uh, cover out as well. Um, So just carefully take it out. There's a, a few little, a couple of clips there holding it in place. Um, you just need to push one side first and then the other side and it comes out. Okay, actually it looks like there is one more of this around the back. Right, just carefully take it out. If you remove that, make sure you don't drop anything in there. Otherwise, that's going to make your day a million times longer. Right, let's try and get this out. Okay, 
okay it does come out it's just a bit fiddly around this uh, cover here so in the meantime I'm just gonna fit that there so nothing goes in there now on this side we have the coil packs so and we have cylinder number one two three four five six so number three is right here and um, and we are having a problem with cylinder number three so that would be this one here Those can be a bit hard to pull sometimes. So I'm just going to help myself with this. There's our coil pack. And uh, I can't see any oil in there or any contamination in the actual spot left. You can see that looks fairly nice and clean. So I'm gonna get a coil pack. Okay, so I've got one here from a BMW, um, which I just changed them as routine some time ago. There was nothing wrong with them. So I'm gonna fit this one and see if that misfire disappears. If it does, then happy days. If it doesn't, then uh, not so happy days. Sometimes they have a little pin at the bottom there. You can see at the bottom a little thing there, so that's why it's not going in. I'm gonna check for the other one. Okay, I've got a slightly different one here, but it's just for testing purposes really. Um, because if that is faulty, then uh, I will just order another one. Probably not genuine, but um, a Bosch or something like that. Right, let's get the car started and see if we have that misfire. Let's just make sure this is closing. Okay, so the misfire is gone. Um, so that point back is actually stepping uh, faulty. Uh, we can clear these codes now. I have a lot of different codes there, but they might all be related, as well as uh, one of the bulbs at the back is blown and turns out to be one of my brake bulbs. So I have to change that. So some of these codes may not actually clear because they might be um, connected so anyway as far as these fires goes um, I think you can tell 
Oh, that's how we fire. And that's it. So I'm happy with that result. That's the uh, faulty coil there, which I'll have to get another one for and um, just uh, swap swap with that. Um, so if you were doing the same sort of fault finding, if you found that you still have the misfire, then uh, you can remove the spark plug and have a look at it. Um, and then if you have a spare one or maybe buy a set of spark plugs and replace that particular one um, and then see again see what happens um, having failed that if your spark plug and this are uh, not making any difference to the misfire then you need to move into the uh, injector side of things as in the fuel injection fuel injection rail is here and then things get a little bit more complicated maybe um, although still a fairly easy to remove this rail uh, to swap injectors and whatnot so anyway on today's video we were lucky enough so I hope the video helps don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video uh, thank you for watching